Hello everyone, it's Tracy Lewin. And Peter Murray. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Peter. Welcome on our world tour. Well, welcome again. Yeah, thanks for inviting me on your world tour again. I see we're going to the land of stars and stripes. What can you tell us about them? We are indeed. We are in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, the United States of America are in the news big time. You know, there's well, a lot of is, things going on. It is the world's largest economy and, uh, you know, the original superpower. So, yes. Yeah. So, so actually, we're going to be watching <clears throat> this and we're going to be watching America with, with uh, keen eyes um, in the next few weeks. So, very exciting times ahead. Um, but let's just talk a little bit about America and uh, the land of opportunity. So did you know that the 50 stars on the flag represent the 50 states of the United States of America? Mm -hmm. And the 13 stripes represent the 13 British colonies that declared independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain and became the first states in the USA. Now, I must actually confess, I didn't know that. So you would have failed the citizenship test if you had to write that in the UK, in the US. Well, I probably would have, but I probably wouldn't have failed because I would have known it if I if I had to. That's <laughs> but true. I actually didn't know that. That's that's that is really. Well, um, thanks for teaching. Thanks for yeah. teaching us something, Tracy. We love it. Yeah. No. Exactly. I love it too. So the current population of the states: uh, three hundred and twenty-four uh, thousand. Um, um, Million, sorry, 324 million people. A major, major amount of people. Very populous, um, the Americans. Absolutely. And in terms of the, the number ranks, there are actually three in the world. Yes. Behind India and China. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, also the other thing, most of the people are living urban, 82,5%. Uh, and the median age um, in America is 38 uh, years, one month. Oh, interesting. So that's just to set the scene. So let's talk about the economic growth. It's a pretty uh, young population. Yeah, I also think it's pretty young. Mm -hmm. And um, the GDP per capita is 55,868. That's what it was in uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the other, the other thing that I always like to look at is the unemployment rate. And, and actually looking at this, from 2011, it's definitely been increasing. I mean, decreasing. Yeah. I mean, the American economy is very vibrant and I'm creating a lot of jobs at the moment. So we'll see if that continues. Yeah, they say that 151 new jobs were, um, were created in August. And consumer confidence um, actually rose to an 11-month high. Well, we'll see what happens. If they embrace the digital economy, they'll um, create many more jobs. Absolutely. And we are seeing that anyway. So this, uh, this crowd, uh, Focus Economics, their panel actually see the, the GDP growth at 2.1% for 2017. So it'll be interesting to watch. Very, very interesting. So talk about the devaluation. This is quite an interesting graph, Peter, since the, the 1900s. The, the demise of paper currencies. Yeah, and um, this is the whole thing, you know. And in fact, there's a lot of people out there saying that the dollar is going to crash and burn. Well, they should look at this, gra uh, this graph. It's already crashed and burned. Yeah, but yet, you know, it's, it's, still, uh, it's still a strong currency against other fiat currencies. So it makes you think. It does make you think, especially if you look at what the pound did this year. Exactly. The pound went down to 31-year low. Correct. To the dollar. Very, very correct. So, you know, what's actually happening in the States? There's so much political uncertainty and so much fear. And you just need to look at these two photographs to know what we're talking about. The selection on the 8th of November. <laughs> you know, this election is going to be extremely extremely interesting you know um the political commentators and the, the financial press and the mainstream media in america all think that um, hillary clinton has won this uh, done and dusted 
So if there's a surprise, well, a surprise is going to be a very big surprise to the markets. Well, all I can say is I've been watching what Trump's been doing, and he is uh, he is out there uh, three. I think he's doing three events a day. I think he's going to be absolutely ragged by the end of it. But he he actually said that he's he knows he said he's going to be finished. But the one thing he does know is that he is going all out, and he's not going to stop. So he, he wants, really really wants to He wants to, to win, Tracy. He wants to win. So, he wants uh, to win and he's mobilizing. It's going to be difficult for him to win, but if he does, oh, I, don't, I don't want to know what's going to happen the next day in the markets. That's well, all I'm saying. We'll definitely be watching it. I mean, the we'll same be world. watching, and, and guys, we'll, we, we're going to have live broadcast um, during the night. Uh, we'll keep you updated on what the effect is will be on Bitcoin. It's going to be one of the major events. So, um, you know, make sure that you follow our YouTube page. And uh, subscribe to our uh, sorry, I uh, you follow uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page, and uh, we'll keep you updated on the night of the election. It's the eighth of November for those that don't know, and um, it would, might be one of the most important days of of um, our modern time. Yeah, absolutely, and um, yeah, very exciting times ahead. And I think a lot of people are pretty nervous, you know, what, you know, regarding what happened with Brexit, with all the bookies saying that it was definitely going to be an 80% remain. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, the people just mobilized and they came out and they voted uh, to leave. So we know what happened to the markets then. I think this is what Donald Trump is, um, um, you know, is bargaining on, is that we're going to have the same type of thing that we have with Brexit. Um, well, it remains to be seen if that's going to happen. But if it does, again, it's going to be totally, totally amazing. Yeah, so we'll have to, we definitely will be watching that. So let's just talk about the current situation at the moment. What is happening to the investors um, in the States? Cash is actually at the highest level since 9-11. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this is a, a strange statistic because cash is at its highest level, um, but interest rates are its lowest ever. Hmm. So people are earning nothing. Yeah. So in fact, as you know, they're earning nothing and also the currency is devaluing. So, you know, it doesn't look too good. No, it doesn't look good at all. And, uh, you know, this is, this is going to be interesting to see what happens in the investment market. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things, you know, when investors are in cash, I don't see the market crashing. Hmm. A lot of people do, but I think, you know, the markets might hold out a little bit more. Yes. Um, there are talks about rising interest rates in the U.S. starting um, very, very soon. So that's going, all going to be interesting. Yeah, some people are speculating two rate hikes for next year. Mm. That could be more than that. Also, there was another interesting uh, article about hedge fund investors. They pulled two, um, $28.2 billion from the industry in the third quarter of 2016. Also, the most since uh, the financial crisis of 2008. This is the thing. So, you know, and this is also where hedge fund managers don't know what to do. Maybe they should probably start investing in, in, in Bitcoin. <laughs> they definitely should. That's what I'm thinking. Let's Talking about Bitcoin uh, to the US dollar, now I was also saying, I uh, also saw a report saying that uh, in terms of hedge fund, you know, people were getting returns of 2% a year. So, so now last year uh, in November, if you had bought Bitcoin uh, with your US dollars and just held on to it, now today, um, you know, you would have had incredible returns. Look, the lowest, at the lowest uh, um, uh you know, when the price was at its lowest, there was a 130% increase. And mm -hmm. on its highest price, the highest Bitcoin price, the increase was something like 169%. I mean, you don't get those kind of returns anywhere. Well, just look at the, at the, at the trend. Um, you know, so that, that is the thing. Just look yeah, at the so trend. I think, I'm hoping that some hedge fund managers actually are actually going to watch this uh, video. <laughs> But this is crazy, and, and we love it. This is crazy, crazy Tracy. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's talk about um, the, the, the USA and the digital economy and specifically Bitcoin. So the, in terms of exchanges and over-the-counter um, platforms, the USA is actually home of many uh, exchanges that are now expanding into different countries. Uh, you know, they want to reach all over the show, including um, Asia, including uh, Australia. Um, there's been movement into the UK. So it's, it's all over the show. And of course, there's our, our uh, trusty local bitcoins.com. And what they do is they just um, connect the buyers and the sellers. But Peter, there's so much happening peer to peer that we don't know about in terms of uh, Bitcoin, uh, movement of Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, um, there is. And, uh, you know, peer to peer movements, um, people think they're all reported on, on local Bitcoins, but they're not. I mean, a lot of them are off offline. Um, Nobody really knows how big that peer-to-peer -peer market is. Mm. Exactly. So some of the exchanges are saying that there's, there's, you know, in a day it could be, you know, over five million that are that are um, um, exchanged. But uh, you know, it's obviously it's obviously more than that. But that's an indi indication. Yeah, that is an indication. Okay, so uh, Bitcoin and blockchain adoption. Um, in America, so um, the, there was a, a blockchain support bill and it passed the vote in the U.S. Congress. And uh, U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, uh, there's a hang of a lot of um, blockchain and uh, Bitcoin patents that are pending at the moment. So, and you know, that, kind of, that is also growing. And it's also, obviously, people that are wanting to claim patent for stuff before somebody else does. Yes. Just to make sure that no one steals their stuff. Well, um, you know, patents it seems to be the new big thing in, in, in the Bitcoin world. So I don't know where that came from, but yeah, everybody's running around to file some patents now. And uh, but it's just a just another um, proof that there's so much developing tech, development taking place. You know, many new companies getting up, new, many new things happening. So this is all good. All good news. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And blockchain techno technology getting lots of attention, even from the U.S. government, the Pentagon in terms of security, uh, central bank uh, wanting to, to understand more about blockchain. And, of course, we've got some businesses that are very, very active, and that's uh, Microsoft, <laughs> IBM, and uh, even, even Walmart are doing a, a food safety uh, trials Amazon are very, very involved because they take Bitcoin uh, as payments. But, but you know, there's just a lot of excitement around these uh, around blockchain technology. Yeah, that, that is absolutely amazing. And uh, it's just becoming more and more and more, Tracy. It's not stopping at all. Well, that's just... why I've listed some of these uh, initiatives. So it's payment systems, you know, like mobile and wallets, mm -hmm. all that type of stuff, security, voting, um, contracts, identity, food safety, shipping, uh, exchanges, music, media, healthcare, real estate. And honestly, I think you can just pick an industry and there'll be something going on. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, every single industry seems to be involved in the blockchain. Um, so there's a lot of, Peter, there's a lot of work that's going on at the moment. Um, so, so, you know, has any rubber hit the, hit the ground yet? Well, this is what I've been saying, you know, we've been following especially the, the development of smart contracts and things like that. And there's a lot of people um, creating apps and busy with research and having projects and stuff like that. But I haven't seen one that really works yet on, on, on smart contracts specific. And I think in a lot of areas, a lot of these apps are under development. Once they hit the blockchain and they start working, um, this is going to be put a huge demand under the Bitcoin price, my belief is. Yes, absolutely. So exciting. Wow. So also another very exciting um, um, prospect is the uh, U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, two, two actual um, ETFs, the Winklefoss and Solid, uh, the, the Winklefoss uh, uh, twins and Solid X, they are mm -hmm. looking for approval to launch um, a Bitcoin exchange fund, uh, traded fund. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, you've got some opinions here. Well, I think once that starts, there's going to be an avalanche of these funds coming online and all kinds of, of different ones. And, uh, you know, that, that gives um, investors the opportunity to actually invest in Bitcoin 
without actually um, having to uh, own a wallet or anything. And we saw today, Tracy, we saw a new, new uh, mobile wallet where you can send Bitcoin from one person to another by just using a phone number and you don't need a Bitcoin wallet. Yes. So you can actually Exciting. keep it in. Yeah. You know, so, so that's, that's all going to, you know, the whole landscape's changing. Yeah, and, um, and it's incredible. So in terms of fintech startups, as well as startups in other industries, um, you know, it's difficult to actually see how many companies are actually starting up. Um, and, you know, one of, the, one of the areas where there's a lot of company registrations is Delaware. And the interesting thing is that uh, they are also working on a blockchain project to streamline record keeping and paperwork. Well, Delaware is one of the biggest company registration um, places in the world. And the registrar there obviously wants to save money. So they're using the blockchain. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. And one of, for me, this is an incredibly exciting uh, blockchain startup. And it's a company called Civic. And Civic actually launched in, um, in 2016. And what they've done is it's all about combating identity theft. You know, identity theft is a massive, massive problem. And uh, Civic is, has actually launched in the States and it, start, and it uses your uh, social security number. And, you know, if you are an American and you have a social security number, you can go to their website and you can, you can sign up for free. And uh, what they'll do is if anybody uses your social security number, you will get an alert. And, um, you know, obviously there's a whole lot of paid services that these guys do. But they, they, this is actually a service to the country, I think. It's amazing. It is amazing. And, you know, it will do a lot to combat identity theft. Yeah. Absolutely. So shout out to, to Civic. Um, now, in terms of getting involved, there are so many meetings and conferences all over the states. I mean, I, I had a look and I certainly couldn't list everything. I mean, some conferences, there's conferences happening every single day. Oh, yeah. You can, be a, you can actually go to conferences uh, permanently. You can become a professional conference goer if you really wanted to. Yes. You know? so, so really uh, find one close to you and, and go and just, just get involved in the Bitcoin revolution the Bitcoin revolution is coming put on you know the, the, the American revolution once again you know yeah, the, the, don't wait till the 4th of July next year get involved now <laughs> okay so our assumptions Bitcoin is definitely the natural hedge against the US dollar and, and basically it's really the natural hedge against any fiat currency and, um, you know, if you, if you don't have, have Bitcoin as part of your investment portfolio, you really need to, to do something about that. Yes, absolutely. I mean, Bitcoin is, 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 the, is ultimately um, an edge against any financial um, panic. So I would definitely, you know, and make sure that I've got a percentage of my wealth in Bitcoin. Yeah, excellent. And just what are your feelings about uh, Bitcoin, blockchain and uh, America? I think America is the biggest economy in the world and I think they're going to have the biggest digital economy in the world. So surely we need to be there. Yeah, we need to be there. So it's definitely the land of opportunities. We agree. Totally. Totally agree. But there's a big but. Mm -hmm. There's two big buts. <laughs> who is moving into the White House? Yes, who is moving into the White House? And like I said, <laughs> if it's the Donald, the markets are not going to like it. If it's the Hillary, um, at least people will know what to expect. But um, I think, you know, America is a divided country. This um, election is showing how divided they are. The, the people on the one side hate the people on the other side. So um, there's interesting times ahead for America and um, I think challenging times because I don't see any of this to being a figure that would actually unite the country in, in, a, in a specific purpose. Yeah. So, well, look, you know, this is going to have an impact on the rest of the world. So um, all eyes on the 8th of November. And, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Thank you, Tracy. This was very, very interesting. Yes, thank you, Peter. And Viva Bitcoin. Viva Bitcoin. And uh, may the digital revolution start. I hope there's not a revolution starting on the 8th of November. But we'll see. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, thanks very much for joining us. And thank you, Peter. And uh, next stop, well, 
put your suggestions at the bottom here and we'll go and do one in your country too. So thanks very much. Chat to you again. Cheers.